morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in the world, this is Jock here, Exponential Spiritual Coach. Okay, so today um, we're going to talk about the law of attraction, the law of attraction and coaching, and why it may not be working for you, or why everything that you do, you do, and it doesn't get results. So when we come right back, we're going to dive into the myths of the law of attraction, and the truth behind it, and why it may not be working for you and what you should be doing to make it work for your clients and for yourself. God bless. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. So here it is, we're going to talk about the law of attraction. And what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is a spiritual law. It is a divine law that means like attracts like. What you vibrate out, you, you attract in that vibration, okay? It matches that vibration and you attract it. You give out good vibes, you get good vibes back. You give out bad vibes, you get bad vibes back. But what does this mean in business, okay? A lot of people will actually forget about bringing the law of attraction into business. And then there's coaches that teach the law of attraction but don't actually know how to use it in their own life. It's rather like, you know, having a coach who's a business coach who has actually no idea of business. Or a, a coach, you know, who's, who hasn't, you know, worked in business or has been an entrepreneur and, and has not had a level of success. Or a coach who teaches an author to write a book and has never actually written any books, Okay. This is a little bit like the law of attraction because the law of attraction, so many people are out there and they're teaching the law of attraction, but there's some fundamental aspects that's missing, ladies and gentlemen. There's some really serious aspects that's missing. It is not just about how many affirmations that you bring in that has a cause of change in the way that you think. That's maybe one small aspect that might help you. It, but it, it's not just about that. And it's not just about just being kind to everybody or giving a bit of service and then having an expectation that the universe is going to reward you. The, the, the thing about the law of attraction is this, right? When so many people or coaches are teaching the law of attraction, they'll teach you the the fundamental basis of utilizing affirmation or or you know trying to do good deeds. And there's so many other different things you look at it. But it's not just about that. It's not just about, you know, trying to retrain your mind and your thought process. You see, the only way that the law of attraction can work is if you bring in harmony into your spiritual life, your mind, which means both your conscious and your subconscious mind, okay? Two different aspects that's often forgotten about when it comes to this. When you move from belief to knowing, not having a belief in someone, because if you believe in something, you disbelieve it. But if you know something, it's divine nature, it's within you, okay? To bring the, the mind and the body in harmony, the spiritual aspect of you in harmony, your, um, your wisdom, uh, the way that you serve, uh, the way that you carry yourself, and also how you learn not to have expectation, your non-judgment, your separation from the expectation, your um, letting go of the outward circumstance, or letting go of any outcomes, and leaving it to divine law and divine will. You see, if you don't bring all of these aspects together in one, Law of attraction is never going to work for you. And if you're a coach and you're trying to teach this to someone else and you can't harness this in your life, it's not just, you know, it's, there's a great intuitive aspect to the law of attraction. You need to know what is it that's blocking your client. Not what their conscious mind thinks, but what is it on a subconscious level. How you get results for your clients in that aspect especially when you're delving into their spiritual self in business, in life or anything, there is always going to be a spiritual block. Wayne Dyer actually wrote, but there's a spiritual solution to every problem. 
And he's right, there is actually a spiritual solution to every problem. There's a spiritual solution to every problem in business. There's a spiritual solution to every problem in your relationships. And there's a spiritual solution to every problem in your life. Okay? Yogananda espoused this way before. And Buddha espoused this in many of the, the teachings before. So if you are going to teach people or coach people in the law of attraction, you need to have awareness and action in your own life to be able to have an awareness of what it is that's going on in their life and how they might be blocked. How you can use your intuition and your deep knowing, your divine connection to help them break through the barriers that may be holding them back. It is not about the affirmation. That's a, that's a little grain of sand in a beach or a desert. It is not about how you have an egotistical way of serving with an expectation of the return on the law of reciprocation. It is not about how you speak to someone in business or in their life. You have to fundamentally bring the mind, the body, and the soul together. A great book to read in, in business is, is As a Man Thinketh, okay? And in some of Dale Carnegie's books, and stuff like that. you can see that the spiritual law in all of these, these wonderful texts, classical texts, there is the law of karma in these classical texts. And also, karma plays a fundamental role in the law of attraction. Because if you're not working out your karma, or you're not trying to balance harmony in your life from that, there's a big chance that the law of attraction is not going to work for you. No matter how much you pray, no matter how many lists you write, no matter how many affirmations you put down, the reason it's not working for you or your clients is because you're not doing it at a divine level. The hardest thing and the easiest thing is how to pray. When people say a prayer for something, they say a prayer for something out of need. Or they say a prayer for something with expectation. And often the prayer that they say is just words that have no power. Like the affirmation that you write is just words that have no power. To make it work for you in your business, in your coaching practice, in your holistic business, anything that you do, you have to blend your mind, your body, your soul, and your divinity at the highest clear cognizant level possible. Because one fulfills and attracts the other. One fulfills divine law, which is perfect in operation. When you understand divine law, and you understand how it operates in this world, and in the next world, and in your life and in business, then you can get the law of attraction working for you. Then your affirmation and your prayer has power because you're harnessing all aspects together. If you don't harness all aspects together, and that is not, and it's like someone saying to me, yeah, but I do, I do it. I, I harness it all together. I am still learning. In all of my years of being a medium and an entrepreneur, I am still learning. I don't have all the answers. I still revert back to, to, to not having the power, even in some of my prayers, which are incredibly powerful and work, and in other prayers don't. I know it's because of me. It's not because of the prayer. When I am trying to do like attracts like and attract those things and attract those things that, that are within my grasp, which are divine law, which is divine right, and I can't do it, it is not because divine law has failed me. It's because me. It's because I haven't worked at having the whole connection. Not just part of the connection. Not just part of the truth. The whole connection. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want the law of attraction to work for you, then make sure that you work on it day in and day out to try and perfect it, discern it in your life before you can coach it to others and help them break through. Look at it from the mind, the body, and the soul. Don't have a new age outlook to it. Even look at it from scientific aspects. Every thought has a reaction. 
Every speech has a reaction. Everything has a reaction. Every act has a reaction. And the like attracts like in the law of karma work hand in hand. Work on that. If you've got any questions, ladies and gentlemen, please leave it below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. And make it work for you in your life and then go out and make it work for your clients. Help your clients to achieve great things because of what you have managed to do, because of what have you have managed to manifest, because of what have you have managed to sort within your own life. God bless. See you soon.